For years, Tom Cottrell, a road runner and comrade finisher himself, compiled the Runner's Guide to Road Races in South Africa. This year, before the 96th running of the Ultimate Human Race, he has released his latest book, 101 Years of Highlights and Heroes. He joins me now. A very good afternoon and welcome to Newsroom Africa. I believe you're down in Durban. Has the Comrades Energy taken over the city yet? Oh, it has. It's been crazy down at, in Durban. Just driving down here, lots of traffic, lots of people going down uh, to the expo. Um, but I took it easy today. It's quiet in Belito. So your book is not the first historical account of the race. How different is this one from the one that uh, you released almost two decades ago? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's an update. I really, I, I looked at that book. It was, uh, I did it uh, for the year 2000. And, uh, well, that was 24 years ago, and a lot has happened. So I thought it was time to, to update it. What were some of your favorite stories and telling in the new version of the book? Well, you know, in the new version of the book, there's always new people that come along, uh, new uh, heroes, heroines. And I suppose the one that really did cap capture my imagination was Have Disdain, when in 2019 she broke the up record by 10 minutes. That was really special. And who are some of the men that you've been able to feature? Because we've seen some magnificent uh, South African runners uh, coming through, black South African runners finally yes. taking the title and, you know, really just setting the men's race alight. Well, I suppose, I, I don't know if I really have a favorite, but one that does stand out for me is Bong Musum Tembu. Um, I remember when he was winning the up race uh, and I was on the press truck um, going up Polly Shorts and I, I yelled down, hey Bong, you've got this if you just carry on. And he looked up and gave a huge smile and a thumbs up. And it, it's kind of times like that that were really special he's got a hat trick and i believe that he's going for his fourth win this year tom do you think that there's a renewed energy behind the race uh, certainly in the last couple of years yeah i do i think that um COVID didn't do anybody any favors least of all road running but, you know, just looking at this year's race in particular, there is a renewed in, uh, energy. Um, there's, uh, the, the field is just as big as it ever was. The excitement is just as big as, and, and as, as intense as it ever was. So, yeah, I think that um, although the, year, the, the COVID wasn't kind to anybody, that certainly this year you can see it. Comrades Marathon is definitely back. Yeah. What do you think has been the staying power of the Comrades Marathon? 101 years it's been going. Uh, I mean, it's, it's quite incredible that uh, what was conceived as a living memorial for fallen war heroes of World War I would still be going and still so popular. Over 17,000 entrants, some even cheating on their entry papers <laughs> just to be involved in a race like this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always been a, a race of hopes and dreams. Yes, uh, they are the top runners, but really, at the end of the day, um, I think for anybody who wants to put uh, at, at, on their CV that, that they were a comrade's finisher, and it's a really about that. It's about the hopes and dreams of the ordinary person, and I think that has always captured uh, the imagination of the nation, of, of the ordinary man, of somebody like me. So I mentioned it, that uh, 25 people cheated on their qualifying information so they were disqualified by the Comrades Marathon. The Comrades Marathon Association is taking a very hard line on cheating, yeah. uh, as, as they always have, even when it uh, comes out after the race. Why do you think somebody would cheat on their qualification um, information just to be at the Comrades, just to get a goodie bag? Ben, uh, it's, it's a puzzle to me, but I think that if anybody wanted to, to cheat on their, their, um, on their entry form, it might have been to get a better seeding. 
But really, other than that, you still have to get on the road and you have to make it down to Durban. And whether you start at the front or the back, <clears throat> excuse me, you still have to, uh, you still have to go through that passage. So for me, that is is a real puzzle. As we just wrap up this interview, you say heroes and highlights uh, in the title of your book. Uh, can you pick out maybe three heroes that uh, that you that you really enjoy telling their stories? Because I know that road runners, uh, beyond what they write, they also like to tell stories just on the road while they are enjoying a Sunday jog. Well, I, I suppose everybody's hero when you, when you think of the Comrades Marathon is Bruce Fordyce. And he's been a real credit to that race for so many years and in so many ways. So I guess he, for me, is the biggest hero. Um, but if I think of the, the, the current clutch of runners, uh, um, I, I think it has to be Bong Musum Tembu. But then I look at somebody like Hadda Stein. I'm really hoping that she's going to break uh, Frith van der Merwe's record. But the two of them together, Frith and Hadda, are also. So there are, there are four heroes for me. Tom Quattrall, thank you very much. And in all the best uh, of luck in the promotion of the book. And enjoy the Comrades Marathon. I know there's going to be uh, millions of South Africans tuning in on Sunday.